girls to my left and to my right. Hey, girl. Hey. 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 Right. But before we start, we have to do always and every single time. We inhale, exhale, and cocktail. You ready? You ready? I'm All ready. Right. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> and cocktail. Tonight, we're toasting to self-love. Yes. Ow, ow, ow. Yes. Okay. So. The topic for tonight is dating in the 21st century. Like, what's going on? What's popping? What's cooking? What's not? How you know if he like you? How you know if he's old? What's all of this about? So, people been giving me like questions, um, and and asking me things like, how do you know if the guy like you? Or how many how many dates before you smash? No. Mm. Anybody got any input? Anybody got any input? Any how many dates? Mm. How many dates before you smash? I say. I'd say it depends on how much you're feeling that person. I wouldn't put a number on it. But feeling them, is it a mutual feeling or is it just on the decision of the woman? Because Right, because the man, he's going to try to take what he can get. So I feel like it's how you feel. Well, I mean. Because I know some people who like. I think you need to have a conversation before you go there, especially these days. Well, okay, but wait. Okay, so what's the dollar amount that it would take for whatever woman, you, whoever, to have sex on the first date? Because that was a real question. Somebody asked me that, too. Ain't no dollar no, amount. No dollar amount. Thanks for the date. No. I mean, I thought I was by myself because you, I'm mean, like, first date. You knew you were spending some money, so. That I mean, you get sex tonight. Have a seat. Okay, but, okay, right. but, okay, but let's level the playing field. What about if. Um, or, or not if, what about when is the appropriate time as the woman to make the first pay for a date? Oh, wow. It's uh, going to be a long time. <laughs> I mean, but why is that? I mean, shouldn't it be like a 50-50 thing? Like if, like if he takes no, you out for four I, or five dates, shouldn't you pick up the tail for at least two of those? I mean, to show him that you like meet him halfway or? No, I think it's his position right. to court me mm -hmm. and but, pay for the dates. But it should that time will not. come when if we're official we're and we're together, then the, I'll I'll start taking you out on a date. But if we're just okay, dating okay. and we're trying to know each other, I mean, I'm you are the me. Right. Remember who the commodity is. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You have to court me. Okay. So, two questions: okay. Is chivalry in the 21st century still alive? Yes. Um. And it's, it might not be. That many guys is, you know, slim, mm. to none, uh -huh. very, very but very. it's still alive, yes. And the next question is, what constitutes an official relationship? Is it because we haven't been on three days together? Is, is it because we aren't smashed? Is it because, I mean, what constitutes a real relationship? I think it's y'all both agreeing that, hey, I want you to be my man. I want you to be my girl. I mean, like, but let's be let's be real for? though. Let's be real though. In this in, in this world right here, it's a lot of people that be like, "We done smashed, so he my man." No, no, I'm about no, to pull up crazy. on a job. I'm about, I'm about to check the phone. I'm yeah, about to, he he no, your no, man, no. but uh, that ain't what he thinks. That's community he, piece. I he's mean, for everybody. Not just you. Mm. I think you have to court. I think you have to have some intimate conversations and. You need to have a discussion. Like, what are you looking for? Right. Okay, so Just are these because, like no today is smashing is smashing. Mm -hmm. But are these yeah, like are these like that. first date questions yeah. or are these like consecutive dates you find out more and blah blah blah? Because it's let's be clear, the ratios are like seven or ten to one, seven women to one man. See, but I, I think have, the problem you may have the conversation the first time. But people aren't truly honest about what they're looking for. Because the representative don't right. leave until you know, the first year or two. Sometimes so. these guys just want what they want. And yep. the but girls, that's all the time. They, do, they have to, do to get to that point. But women need to have better discernment. Mm -hmm. And they're they're gullible. And you fall for anything. And I'll drink and they, to that. And they get what they want. And then you the one like, oh, but I thought we were in a relationship. See, that's what I'm talking about. It'd be uh, a bunch no. of those. You knew you was in a situation, ship, sis. I like, mean, but you know. it'd be like, it'd be so, it goes so hard in these streets, though. These it girls does. be like, well, that was my man. We just went on three days and we smashed. So he with me. Let me, t let's, let's, let's just be clear. Okay. Uh, because no. with me, you messed with me, you stuck with me. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> let's just be clear. I'm not going to even put myself in a situation until I know this guy. without and uh, without a shadow of a doubt that it's going to happen. 
I mean, yeah, everybody know my friend. Is guaranteed. But, what, but what about the dick in the jar? Okay, what about it? I feel like every grown woman should have one. If you ain't got no man, you need right. one person that's gonna knock the cobwebs off. No, baby, AIDS <laughs> is real. I mean, it is, but that's why you take that, that one person that no. you can keep throughout the decades. You know, what all of the decades. Are you his one person? Exactly. That's what you gotta make sure. No, sir. Uh, well, no. my thing is, if y'all are really that close with that much of a convenient situation, if y'all take that much of a hiatus, you two should be comfortable enough to say, let's just go get tested together before we start again. But that does not negate that a grown woman without a man should have a dick in the jar. They definitely should because who knocking the cobwebs off? Let's just be clear, plastic don't feel the same. Well... Story, Amen, yeah. and I'll drink to that. Hello, because plastic don't feel the same. No, it doesn't. But I want to be alive. I mean, it's not. It's not. Right. It's not risky when it's one person. It's that I need somebody it's not to call us off. So I'm just going. Not when I don't know what you're doing. I mean, right. people aren't honest. But yeah. you're not fucking wrong. You don't think you're thinking about wrong? That's community thing. What are you saying? You do not. You could end up with a baby from a community thing if you're doing it wrong. No, thank you. Women are emotional. <laughs> I mean, and the dick in the jar, whatever you want to call it, might not always do the right thing. He might turn out. I mean, he could start off as somebody that you were actually interested in more with, but he turned out to be a dick in the jar. Exactly. That's the perfect situation because it ain't gonna work relationship wise. So if it worked. Physically, exactly. But let's be clear, not even. I think women are just too emotional to just. I mean, no, I'm with you because you know. I know some women that are like, I, I do. So, yeah, like they don't care. Yeah, but they be yeah. they be acting like they wow. didn't catch a dick, and at home myself. they be crying. <laughs> right, I'm too emotional. <laughs> right, but th that's what I'm saying. So y'all know me. I'm a hybrid, right? I'm both sides of the fence, man and woman, in the brain, right? So I identify with both sides. So if I'm going <laughs> If I'm not with somebody exclusive, like we not exclusive at all, you better believe somebody. Cause I don't, I don't feel like uh, uh, cobwebs is not in my life. I, I just, we just don't, we just don't do the cobwebs. I'm sorry. See me, I got cobwebs all over the place. So okay, but okay, so. I'm not been committed the whole. Right. So, I what's the expectation time. on sex in relationships? What do you mean exactly? Like, do you just, okay, so if you're in a relationship, is it totally uninhibited to whoever your partner is, or do you still reserve the right to withhold it from them, or should you withhold it from them? I mean, marry, I don't, I don't feel you can yeah. withhold. You shouldn't. Just marry? Yeah, if we're in a relationship, it's, I don't have to. Yeah. You don't feel like you have to? Like, let's be clear, no, I would no. never. You're not going to just use me all up and <laughs> right, run my mouth up. Me. That's a part of your duty. Yeah, it's my duty. Just like no, it's his duty. I got, no ring, I got no ring, so why I mean, but, is that my duty? Okay, well, maybe this is just my ideals, but I'm just saying. We could have just finished arguing, and I could have I could have called you all kind of ungodly names. And if that's what you wanted right afterwards, I'm going to give it to you because... Let's it doesn't be always. I don't work want you searching for it with nobody Call else. Me okay, we, I, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I mean, I'm just saying. Because the I, juices I do. don't stop because your head is mad. At least not with me. <laughs> yeah, but we're emotional. We are. I still like, be sitting there like, ugh. I'm not interested. Right. But you still gotta do it though. You're not turning me on right now. I mean, but they have stuff for that. You know, you got you can put a little shellac on it. It'll get, it'll get. Oh my gosh, no, I don't want to <laughs> shellac. I mean, but let the waters run naturally. <laughs> then, right. then think back in your mind's eye to when you liked it. No, I don't like you right now. <laughs> right. I can't and even face this. Too. Mm. Ew, gross. No, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. but I do agree with that. I don't want you searching elsewhere, but. <sighs> I mean, because, you know, me and you've been in relationships for... Yeah, I know. For the long haul. Yeah, I know. Okay, so let's talk about that. What types of things should you be doing in a long haul relationship to keep it spicy? Right, let me know. Let me take some notes. Right, because, you know, we just rounded that little deck. Look just right over the hill. <laughs> so, I, I, I get the, I get the I feeling. Think, ain't no, ain't no fire think, lost. I think, yeah. No? I think you have to still go after that individual. You still have to let them know that you want them. That they're attractive. They're sexy. 
they turn you on. Let me show them the little lingerie, you know. Yeah. You know, put them, put it on them like it was the first time. But Eight he time. was trying to get them. Eight he used time. to keep it going. Surprise them. Offer it up. Catch them off guard. Hello. And I'll drink to that. Hold on. How long? I have him uh, thinking about you while he at work. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but all things work together when it comes to sex, right? You have to be mentally and physically there, mm -hmm. right? For yeah. the juices to be oceaned, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But why can't you just be there physically if you're not there emotionally? Because we're emo work. emotional creatures. But your emotions don't have to necessarily keep you from performing your duties. That's a physical duty. That's, that's not No, because we still be stuck. I We're can't detach my brain from I'm just giving you, now, you know I agree with both of y'all, right? I'm just giving you the male perspective, playing devil's advocate. I understand. I, I do get that. Um, I don't know how some people do it. I'm just petty. I'm just saying. You just, sometimes you gotta just detach the brain from the body. and Facts. <laughs> facts. Yeah. Sometimes. But it's hard. I mean, it might be. And then your partner will know you're not there. Mm. It's mm -hmm. truly just get your rocks off and get off of me. Yeah. Mm. It's like a, an arrangement. You know? Wow. Well, I mean. Women are emotional. So, not to put you on the spot, but you are still dating, right? Yeah. Like right. avidly looking, or not necessarily looking, but avidly accepting dates, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the criteria that you would necessarily be looking for? in somebody is it like universal things or is this very specific minute like one of a kind type of thing um i think i've i've started to accept a lot of stuff that i didn't at first i used to be really shallow actually mm. like well, and mean, it was wait, all about because let's be clear if you don't look good with me in the picture we can't be together <laughs> oh my god that is shallow that is shallow but that is the truth yeah because that's how I used if you to look be. okay now when you get older you still gonna look okay but um, I got to want to look at you to be I with you for the a, long haul. Yeah, I have to be attracted to you, but yeah. Now the difference is I'm looking at the future. I'm looking at what what can we build together? Like, what does he bring to the table? What mm -hmm. do I bring to the table? How could this work? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm thinking, you know, past his looks now. Looks used to be like the number one thing for me. <laughs> so I was, I was, I'm still young, but I was younger, and that's what I was thinking about. But now. I think it's about how the individual treats you. That, yeah. Like, okay, so what, okay, okay, okay. So how they make you feel, yeah. What about like dating with marginal age gaps? I'm not big <laughs> on that personally. I, I mean. Just, I'm like, wait, I'm gonna be dropping you off at the nursing home, <laughs> taking the baby to <laughs> take <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Is this really gonna work out? Oh, we're not talking what? nursery rhymes. I'm just saying. I we mean, we, we, we when I'm changing diapers yet. Yeah. When I'm 50 and you 70, bro, you're gonna be changing a diaper. I'm still, you know, doing my thing, but you, <laughs> you straight napping a few times a day. Uh, that's right. Not gonna work for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, I guess I mean, like, is there like, should there be something wrong with it? I don't think there's anything wrong with it because it's to each his own. People right. have preferences. Right. They might really connect. Right. Um, I and think it's just about where you're It's just as dumb as some of these young ones. Right. I think, it's I think it's just about where you're going. Well, I mean, yeah. Some of them be self preservation. Yeah. They be looking younger than the 30 year old. Exactly. Yeah. But they um, take care of themselves. Exactly. But their brains still be at 30, though. Now, I have met some, uh, uh, some older guys who, like, they're still acting like they're in their 20s. Like, they will not grow up. And it's like, what is it going to take? Like An act of God, that's what it's going to take. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, But you just have to know yourself. Maybe they just don't want to be in a relationship. Exactly. Okay, and Maybe that's the age. perfect segue. How but be to clear. identify the traits of a man wanting to be in a relationship? Do we not? Or do I need to help? Come here, do I need to help? I mean, it's Let obvious. Me he says what he wants. Like, and period. he shows it. It ain't no just he it says, says it. and he shows it. He shows period. it. I think, I think actions speak louder. Well, yeah. Me I mean, too. I think I do. I do too. But um, 
I was listening to the radio this morning, and the Rama they gave me an interesting perspective. Which was how to identify when the man don't want you. That's clear. I mean, I think they're all evidence, we're just but we in don't denial. Mm-hmm. So the first one is um, he's not around you and makes no effort to be around you. Facts. Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really listen to you when you talk. Wait, let's be clear. Men already think women talk too much. No, they too talk, merch. They talk too much, actually. Right. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. So, is it like that for real? Yeah. Some men do talk a lot. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, you know, go out on a date. We like to be the ones you to talk. You know, like this the whole men, time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Some men uh-huh, uh-huh. like to chop it up. They do. And I'll just be like, can I get a little sentence in? Can I get some, a paragraph? <laughs> <laughs> you be whole, raising your hand like, can I get some? Not the, no I say think, no to the I do box. think it's a problem, though, when you don't allow me to share my opinion. Right. Men always okay. try to take your opinion because they don't want you to say anything that's not incongruent with what they're saying. But <laughs> you just got to remember who the commodity is. My, my opinion will never not matter. Right. Okay, on to the next one. Um, <laughs> he doesn't uh, care about you with relationships with other guys. Which to me, if he don't care about you talking about other guys, he don't want you to know it. Exactly. That's, That's period. Okay. The, yeah. the, the next one was he treats you like everybody else. Like when you see him out, he hugs you at the low part of the waist. You see him walk over to the bar, he hugs somebody else at the low part of the waist. Uh, no, sir. You're cut off. I mean, but is that head. clear that he don't like you? Or it's clear that he got options. I mean, but what or if y'all not he exclusive? he likes you just at home. But what right, if y'all are not he exclusive? He likes you a little bit, but he doesn't, like, extremely, like, he's head over heels for you, though. No. But I'm saying, is it a problem to see him do the same thing if y'all are not exclusive? No. Do you? I'm going to do me, baby. You see me over here. Even if y'all done been on dates, even if y'all done already smash boxed, even if y'all, if even if your mental is like, yeah, we're in a relationship, even though he ain't said something, you see him out hugging somebody low. At the back. That's actually happened to me. That's funny as hell. Um, <laughs> but do you get mad or do you not? Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I kind of popped comes. off on him. <laughs> but why? I'm like, who's that on your arm? Like, cause See? we emotional. Who's sis? Who's but that, that just means. <laughs> and they've been intimate. And who? who but just because you've been intimate, don't mean we ought to get but, a But if you're misleading. But right me. after that, we did make it official because that's when the confusion started. Like, so you um, made him make a choice. I didn't make him make a choice. He asked me twice, and then I said, yeah. But it's just like, those situations bring on a different type of feeling. Like, you might have not been feeling that before you saw somebody hanging on his mm, arm, and you're right. like, that's right. me. Are, like, so, what you doing? <laughs> so are you saying that that is necessary? No, I'm just saying in some the situations, people don't make it official. <laughs> Until they they actually get a reality check, like oh this person right. could be going, could be going yeah. with you, like, yeah. yeah, right. Which yeah. is why I say pull up to the party with somebody That's else. That's the saying. You never know hey. what you got. Hey. Shots fired until it's gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. never know. Well, what you got. <laughs> that was <laughs> sixteen. Six, six. Wait, sis, did she just pull the wig off? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> but wait, I want to drink to that one too. All right, this is what I'm doing. Uh-uh, wait. I ain't seen the blonde in a minute. <coughs> you coming on the set? Oh! <laughs> Y'all, we got another constituent. She's on the set. She's one of our hot girls, too, but she just couldn't be with us today. Hey, 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 y'all. Hey, girl, hey. 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 <laughs> so, that wraps up our co- cocktails and conversations for today. So, if you have anything to comment on or if you want to be a part of the conversation, make sure you tune in at 9 p.m. sharp to the Ryan Lamar Designs live channel, and I, we will be openly discussing and you can request to go live and voice your opinion in two minutes you got two minutes okay two minute warning that's all you get okay two minutes i'm gonna cut y'all out <laughs> with a timer okay a bloop <laughs> let's just be clear bloop. you got it all right and so this is right am i starting off what you think I want you can reach me at frenchy styles 15 frenchy mm-hmm. okay do you need to spell it yes f-r-e-n-c-h-y uh-huh. uh-huh. style S T Y L E 15. Holla at me. Boom. And for you. And you can reach me at doll underscore status uh, on IG and Facebook. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> and we are signing off. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Yes, it's been real. It's been fun. Bye.